Hey folks, Justin here. I have been out sick for quite a while. I had a bunch of stuff wrong. Um, I still don't feel great, but I am on a bunch of medicine, so I am uh, functional. And um, to celebrate my re-entry in Elder Scrolls Legends a week late into the season, uh, we are hopping into a game with Whiterun Troll Firepot, a deck inspired by Reddit posts that said that Firepot Spider is played in 0% of all strength decks. And I kind of got a little off the rails as I was building this. I uh, started just including a bunch of cards I never see. <clears throat> Including Brassilis, Galdora the Daring, Skyforge, Stormcloak Camp, Frost Troll, Lucian Lachance. We just have a whole bunch of stuff here. We're hopping into casual first. If we win this game, I'll hop onto the ladder. So, hopefully we win, or maybe hopefully we don't. I'm not sure. Chris Franks, the Forgotten Hero, playing Crusader as our opponent. Chris has the ring. We have our combo, Brassilis, Skaven, Pyromancer, and then we have Skyforge. <coughs> so... Sorry about all the text messages, guys. I have to keep my phone on for work. Um, and they're just coming in all of a sudden. Um, so, how are we going to try to play this? So there's a couple uh, avenues of attack here. Um, there's Frost Trolls, you know, which can get massive. Uh, we have Healing Hands to increase the uh, longevity of our awful creatures. Our opponent not playing anything when they have the ring and their Crusader and it's turn one is uh, probably a good sign for us. We'll find out. We're going to... Hopefully you get some... Alright, let's just play Brassilisk. I got no complaints. Um, I guess we'll see... You know, it'll be interesting to see how Brassilisk works exactly. I've never actually copied anything with it. Uh, but it looks like first thing we're going to do is just Scave and Pyromancer, send in the Brassilisk. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So we copy our Brassilisk over there. We swing, we kill that. <clears throat> And now we still have a Brassilisk, and we have a Scape and Pyromancer, and our opponent does not have whatever that thing was. A uh, mighty ally. Nothing mighty about our deck. We are relying on cheeky shenanigans. There's Tyr. Um, what do we do against Tyr? <laughs> well, um, we got a couple options. Skyforge Swing. Not great. An enchanted plate and play a three drop. Yeah, let's just just, just develop our shenanigans. There's a firepot spider for future shenanigans. And yeah, let's swing with our Brassilisk. Putting in Shagorath's work, our kind Brassilisk friend. If you've never seen Brassilisk, I've never played it before until right now, but it says when Brassilisk takes damage and survives, summon a copy of it in the other lane. Seems pretty good. And hopefully we get to start pumping out bigger Brassilisks and uh, turn them into werewolves, which, uh, as I understand it, actually, lycanthropy is no laughing matter in the Brassilisk community. Um, it has ravaged many communities of Brassilisks, and, uh, you know, maybe you should pour out an elixir of vitality for the dead Brassilisk homies. Uh, you know, obviously, if he swings here, we're still taking four, which isn't great for us. Uh, he swings here. Oh, he swings face. Okay. Dish Nikial Archer can punish that. There's a Battle Rage Orc. Trades. Play something else. A Morko Gatekeeper. Okay. So what's our best play here? Um, I think we just Dish Nikial Archer that. Swing there. And then put... The yeah, let's put a Barrow Stalker down, and then we're gonna put a dagger on our Brassilisk, not breaking the rune because we didn't want to deal with a prophecy. Child of Hercein. Well, that is why we run Mummify. Um, yeah. So let's. You know what? How many shenanigans can we engage in this turn? So we, we, we uh, sorry, now I got an alarm going off. It is just not my day. To, I, I, it's been a while since I recorded, and I'm still a lot of sorts. So we mummify this. That's got to happen. Yeah. 
I gain an extra little, a little bonus life. Okay, we go to 28. I'm going to play a Fearless Northlander and a Firepot Spider over here. Yeah, I'm just going to keep swinging. Should have swung before I uh, played my guys, but... You live and you learn. Firepot Spider making his first appearance on, on this channel. And do you see the remarkable power level of the Firepot Spider? I think you do. <laughs> Let's get some rewards and then we'll, uh, unfortunately, take the stack onto the ladder. Alright, Soul Tear. Well, as we'll promised, we are taking White Run Troll Firepot, the names of some of the very clutch cards in this deck, onto the ladder. Uh, to see if Firepot Spider can win its first constructed match uh, in the history of uh, the human race, actually. We have the Night Mother in this deck, too. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking when I put this together. But we have another Crusader deck we're facing against. This one is by played by Carla Osling, looks like. Carla Orling, the Triumphing Jarl. We have the Ring. I'm more just glad he doesn't have it. We have Firepot Spider, nothing to combo with. Barrow Stalker and a Skyforge. Uh, we'll keep this stuff... I, I almost think we don't play turn one Firepot Spider in, unaccompanied into a lane. It doesn't seem like it's a great move. Turn one Barrow Stalker into the Shadow Lane, however, I kind of like. I like it because Firepot Spider and a lot of my self damage guys are not going to get any value in the Shadow Lane. It might encourage him to go to the Field Lane. What's up, dude? Greetings. By the way, Haunting Spirit in the deck so that we can learn how. Haunting Spirit interacts with uh, Brasilisk. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. Sorry, I'm just going to throw my phone over there so it stops making so much noise. And our opponent decides to slam that guy, and that's totally fine. Let's play a Haunting Spirit and gain a little life. Uh, they can't play their 5-5 five, five for 4 this turn. Let's see what they do instead. Might get Skyforge online can't really remember why I'm running that card, but I am. Um, there's a Hollow Death Priest. Uh, alternatively, Enchanted Plate, kind of appealing here. Dashnakial Archer. Wrong place for a midnight Let's gain our life. Now, do we want to play Firepot Spider yet? Um, yeah, we're going to play it over there, because if he plays his 5-5 five, five for 4 in this lane... This lets us swing into it with this, swing into it with this, and have a creature on the board. But it looks like he's just going to do that. That's fine, too. I don't think he can race us. Maybe he can. The White Room Protector is going to make that hard for him, however. We've now seen everything but the troll, which gives our deck its name. Okay. No Raging Horkers yet, unfortunately, but that's okay. Crushing Blow... That guy has Regenerate, man. <laughs> uh, it's a good day to die. <laughs> Alright. Firepot Spider again, striking such incredible fear into the hearts of our opponents that we are victorious. Oh, we'll be right, right. back for another. Two and one with White Run Troll... Uh... Per, uh Frost, White Run Troll, Firepot, White Run Troll, Firepot. Uh, and now we're heading into our th fourth and final, perhaps, game against Zagath, playing Mage. Uh, token Mage, we might be pretty good against. They have the Golden, they have the Ring, and we have a Barrow Stalker, a Stormcloak Camp, and a Mummify. I'm going to throw back Stormcloak Camp. Uh, or not. Or not. Doesn't really matter if we gain a bunch of life in the early game with Barrow Stalker. None of our cards have any reach. We are Greetings, just trying to uh, push as much damage as possible. I, I suppose it's possible we can finish them off with Stormcloak camps, but I don't know. It doesn't seem super likely. Daggerfall Mage, Cunning Ally. Let's shed some light on the problem. Hmm. It's a great draw. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Okay. 
Cunning ally and it triggers. See if he has the hive defender. He's got the daggerfall mage. Let's drop down Raging Horker and Barrow Stalker and swing. Connecting for the first time and hopefully being able to flip our White Run Protector. Good Firebolt. And as well as play a Hive Defender. Should be a disaster for us. There's a plan. There's always a plan. Be on your guard. What? I know we can't do what we want to do, unfortunately. Um Huh. This is some kind of mid range deck. Best use of our magic guy, I guess, is White Run Protector, so let's do it. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Might Lightning Bolt, might Javelin, my White Run Protector. It's not a great position to be in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ice Swing Dragon. Okay. Skaven Pyromancer doesn't do much. I could just play two Stormcloak camps to get those online. For Skyrim, for Skyrim, Wrong place for a midnight stroll. And instant prophecy from our opponent, first rune. Shaking Harpy. Okay. Now Stormcloak camps don't work on our opponent's turn, which is unfortunate. If they did, I think it might be one of the greatest cards ever printed, or most powerful. As it is, it's just one of the greatest. So swing here, swing firebolt here. Because he never used that firebolt. A little distraction might prove. Oh, we got cloud resolutionist execute. Oh, just cloud resolutionist. Refreshing. You won't spoil my plan. And just swinging. Okay. This works. Little sweet fire pot spider action. There's loot here, Let's get Aldora down. I can smell it. See what happens. The same deck that runs Icewing Dragon. I mean, this is just mid-range mage, and I'm just not familiar with what mid-range mage looks like. Hmm. Do you have a Dawnstar Healer? You won't spoil my plan. Hollow Death Priest might be Behold good. My power. Really? Stand fast. Shale take me. Okay. Well, a great draw would be another Skaven Pyromancer, wouldn't it? Absolutely boss level draw. Let me clear this lane out. Dark Rebirth. Okay. Well, that's not what we're looking for. I do get a Skywag. No creatures in my opponent's hand. I'll kill you where you stand.
No creatures in my opponent's hand. Double lightning bolt for the kill. I guess we could postpone it with a mummify prophecy. Right? We got a nine. Nope, because we would go to seven when it breaks. And we go to nine. We mummify this. Behold my okay. power. No, we're dead. Yes. Seven and a crushing blow. You won't spoil my plan. Shale take me. Stand fast. Okay. Three Stormcloak camps. Play haunting. Sp okay. For Skyrim, for Skyrim. Well, it's not lethal, but it's as close as we can get, unfortunately. The treasure will be ours. One off. Well fought. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try to win one more. All right. We're going to play one more game with the Firepot Warrior deck deal. Uh, my opponents have uh, been scholars and gentlemen, all of them. <laughs> Let's see what Orbital Cracker brings to the table today. Master Dragon's Mono Neutral. All right. <laughs> I'll play against mono neutral. I'll lose against mono neutral. That's what I'll do. Yeah, these are cards we want in our deck. All right, raging horker. Let's get your game on. At the very least, what we're gonna do in this game is see what our mon opponent's mono neutral tech is. What what kind of choices they've made in their mono neutral package. I have to admit, I do enjoy the new monthly reward card quite a bit. I think it's really strong, actually. Brave What's up? I smell Play Barrow Stalker because it's a better card living. than Raging Horker is, uh, especially given her hand. You know, if Firepot Spider had charge, it would be like a reasonable card. But it does not. It does not have charge. Um. Place for a midnight stroll. So, yeah. Stormcloak camp also just not ideal when you don't run any removal. But Lucian. Lucian's gonna do some work here. Get my guy up to a 4 7. All three ring charges used in the first three turns, and uh, not a lot to show for it. <laughs> Continue to eat your dudes. Let's just make this guy as big as possible because I think it's funny. Die, die, die. 
and first blood to an opponent. And we have a six, I'm sorry, an 810 Fearless Northlander on the board. Guy has been working out. Now, does my opponent have the silence card? Alright. There's Barrow Stalker. I think we just want to get actual, like, threats into play. Die, scum! Your reckoning is at hand. I smell the stench of the living. Okay, they drew a neutral card, which makes sense. Every card in their deck is neutral. Now, what deck that people actually play in the ladder can we have this sort of experience against? This Hall's the Dwemer. Please put it over here so I may continue my glorious reign. Clockwork City Bridge in the background, very appropriate for this matchup. Oh yeah. For Skyrim, for Skyrim. Die, scum, die, Get that guy up to twelve twelve. We did it a prophecy. It's possible but at some point too. Uh that he shackles this. He's also gonna get an eight eight guard next turn. Sure. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Unfortunately for him, this card has breakthrough and he has a one toughness creature over here. So in unless he oh, it goes to his hand? Wow, this that card is ten million times worse than I ever thought it would be. Oh no, he's choosing which lane he goes to. Okay. Okay. I mean, I have a lethal creature over here. I have a 12 12 with breakthrough. What do we got? Knife to the Throat. A 4 magic and neutral silence card would keep him in it. Okay. Yeah. Still dead. Barring a prophecy. Okay. There we go. He's alive. Sure. Oh, no, he's not. Plus, even if he wasn't... So let's say I swing for four, swing, I swing, and the, the last two come through here. All right. That was on the ladder. 